Hey, uh, I'm Adam, and I sing for the band Stellar Cart. Actually, we just got uh, finished with our latest tour. It was called the Stellar Cart in 3D Tour, and uh, it was a lot of fun. The 3D Tour was was a blast. We took out Manic Drive and Stephanie Smith, and uh, we wore 3D glasses, and uh, we I think Brian jumped in the crowd every night, so that was that's kind of what made it 3D. Mm -hmm. You guys have a lot of fun, right? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, we actually just started this new video series mm -hmm. uh, online on our Facebook and, and on our website called Stellar Cart Life, and it's just a, it's a, basically just a day in the life of what we do. We, we film each other, you know, doing what we do, acting stupid, and, uh, and we make little videos into them, and, and our third one actually was recorded on Halloween, and uh, we were, it was kind of this, we were in this creepy basement, it was our green room. We were in California and uh, playing this nice festival it was great, and uh, so all day we're just kind of stuck in the in the basement of this of this warehouse basically, and so we're like, okay, it's Halloween, we've got to record a creepy, you know, scary horror movie for Stellar Car Life. So we did, and all we had was our little flip camera and uh, like some hand trucks and some bubble wrap, and so we we filmed it, and, and Brian, our bass player, actually was the was the killer. And then uh, he killed Jordan first, her drummer, and then uh, and then I went and killed our guitar player Nick, and then Brian and I both meet at the end, and, and you kind of don't know where it's going to go. It's very suspenseful. It's, it's kind of scary, uh, but then we have a whole blooper reel uh, at the end of it that's that makes it all worth watching. But it was awesome. I mean, we had to we had to do it. You know, it's Halloween. How do you maintain your relationships? Like, because it's not always just the fun, right? Yeah. Or well, I think. Uh, I mean, we've been through a lot as a band since since 2005, basically touring nationally full time. Um, you definitely have ups and downs, and we we've had our fair share too. When we're, when we're on top of the world and everything's great, you know, everybody's everybody's happy. Whenever uh, whenever things are tough, then things get a little chippy, and and people start to get uh, you know upset with each other or whatever. And it's just like it's just like a family out there. We're just a bunch of brothers out there, and so we fight sometimes, and then. Uh, a lot of times it's great, but uh, you know we just uh, I don't know you try to you try to put each other's needs ahead of your own. I know that sounds cliche, but that's kind of the only way that that you can uh, that you can get through it and just say okay, you know what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be selfish in this situation. So that's kind of how we that's kind of how we do it. And and you know we're we're in a spot right now where I think we're as close as we've ever been. So it's it's pretty cool to see where we've come from, what we've been through, and then where we are now. It's pretty awesome. You guys released uh, your latest album this year, right? Correct. In March? Yeah, in, uh, in March we released Everything is Different Now, which is our fourth studio album uh, with I Know. This is our first one with I Know Records. And uh, it's, a, it's a little bit different than our other stuff. It's kind of a different side of who we are. Um, it's, it's a little more worshipful stuff. I got to write with uh, a couple of the guys from Hillsong and uh, we also put some covers uh, on it from some of our favorite worship leaders and, and favorite artists. And so it's kind of a, a, a compilation of original stuff and then influenced by the Hillsong guys and then with some of our favorite guys like Matt Redman and then uh, Audio Adrenaline as well. Uh, so it's kind of a unique project for us and, and just something a little bit different uh, and, and kind of reflects the, the time that we were going through as a band. So how was the response to that? I think the response has been good. I mean, you look, I, I, I look at all the, the reviews and, and what fans say, you know, on iTunes and stuff like that, and, and people seem to be people seem to be digging it, and uh, I, I think it's I think it's been received positively, and it's it's nice to to give something a little bit different to the fans. The title track is called "Everything Is Different Now," and uh, we. Me and our producer Ian Esklin wrote it actually in a taco shop. We were having lunch and started started thinking of ideas, and we're like, "This would be cool." And, uh, so we, we kind of wrote most of it just there at lunch, and uh, and it was originally about just kind of what we were going through um, with the economy being tough and trying to figure out new ways of, of of making things work. And my dad had just lost his job, and so kind of trying to rethink life because it, it, everything was kind of turned upside down. And, and, getting back to the, the basics of what, what life is about and uh, you know going down this path and, and when things are great it's it's kind of when you know you're 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 the farthest away from God usually and, and it's sad that it's like that but that's kind of how it is. And uh, when when things come down on you and when, when, when life gets tough that's when you, you turn back to God and you say, hey I need I need some help here. 
And so that's kind of a, what the original idea of the song was about. But then, uh, after we had written it, before the record came out, we played it at a youth camp uh, in the summer. Uh, and uh, just so happened to be playing it on the night that the speaker was talking about uh, like, like father issues to all the kids. And uh, a lot of the kids there had either not grown up with a father or had an abusive relationship with their father. And uh, so this song kind of just transformed into this song about how God is our Heavenly Father and how different, completely different that is than, than the father experience that a lot of these people have had uh, on earth. And so it was just, it was amazing to see the song take on a, a completely new life mm -hmm. and it's kind of what it was made to be about and I didn't even know it when, when we were writing it. But uh, it, it, it transformed into being about how, how everything is different whenever God is your Heavenly Father. And, uh, and for some of those kids, it was like you know, a, a whole new life had just started for them. Our current single that's out right now is Something Holy. And it was actually the last track to be put on Everything is Different Now. Uh, we had had the record completed. It was done. It was printed, recorded, mixed, mastered, everything done, packaged. Everything. We were without selling it on the road. Huh? Without that song. Right. Wow. Without without that song, it was. And, huh? uh, and so the label actually said, "Hey, we need one. We need one more song." And so we said, "No." And they said, "Yeah, we need one more song." And we're like, and they said, "We need one more song." I said, "Okay." And so we uh, we went and we wrote a ton of songs. We looked for songs from outside sources. We we tried co-writing with a bunch of people, and finally. Uh, finally, we, we got to this song, Something Holy, and uh, which uh, it was Ian, our producer, and uh, Doug McKelvey and myself wrote. And uh, it, was a, it was a song that kind of encompassed who we are as a band and also just kind of wrapped up this whole project uh, in one song. And it wasn't like putting a band-aid on a CD that was already made or, or a bailout song for you know whatever reason, but we we really felt like this was the song that, that we needed to write. And it's and it's a song basically that says what we're all about. We're, we're here for uh, for you guys, for the fans, for, for this, this community that we have. Uh, because if we get bogged down in what we're dealing with individually as as you know, as our lives go through the roller coaster that, that is life, when you're when you're down and you're by yourself, it's a really hard place to uh, to be and it's tough to deal with and so we want to be there uh, for the fans, we want to be there for you guys and uh, the thing about Something Holy is it, is it talks about how we belong to the family of God, how we're connected, we belong to the family of God that is set apart from this world, we're set apart for something bigger than, than our everyday struggles, than our everyday lives that we're going through and, uh, and we're set apart for, for Something Holy to be a part of the family of God. Hey, this is Adam from Stellar Cart. Thanks so much for watching Breathecast.